Hi folks, welcome back. A real quick hit for you today. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create this iOS collapsible large title nav bar uh, with Flutter. This is a, a style that started with iOS 11 and is really everywhere today. And when you're, you're writing cross-platform, sometimes you have to make some compromises to be you know all things to everyone for Android, for iOS. Uh, but I, I feel like the nav bar is an area where you need it to be instantly intuitive to a user and so I think offering this to an iOS user uh, has real value and it is extremely easy to set up in Flutter today. So that's what we're going to do today. If you have the Flutter SDK installed, if you have a Mac or some other way of building with Xcode, which I probably don't want to know about, and if you have Visual Studio Code installed with the Flutter plugin, uh, we are ready to get started. All right, so I have my command line up and I am going to type flutter create iOS underscore large title tutorial. Seems like a good name. All right, and while that creates, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. And we'll go to open folder and we will get this down here. iOS large title tutorial. There we go. And we're going to go into the lib folder. We're going to go to main.dart. And before uh, I run this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this whole class down here so everything from in the demo app from class my home page extends everything south of that let's just get rid of it so the only thing we should have left is this uh, material app up here at the top all right now I'm gonna create a home page widget and I'm gonna do that in a separate file so I'm gonna go to lib I'm gonna click new file and I'm going to create home.dart And that is going to be class home page, and it's going to extend a stateless widget. And I'm going to let the code complete create my build method. Great. So, what I'm going to build here is a Cupertino page scaffold. So that's the scaffold that is used to create a Cupertino style or iOS style widgets. Right. And when I click on that, I'm going to get the auto import, which is going to bring in the uh, package flutter Cupertino.dart. If it doesn't, then you can go ahead and import that up here. All right, and inside here for my child, I want a nested scroll view. And this is going to have a header sliver builder. And in Flutter, slivers are portions of the screens. It is a, a way to build the screen that gives you this collapsible uh, effect that we need for collapsible headers. So the headed sliver builder is going to have uh, in parentheses a build context called context it's going to have a boolean which is called inner box is scrolled so let's make sure we get our capitalization right there so lowercase inner capital box is scrolled and then you want to open up curly braces so this is a function here a builder and inside of there, we want to return an array of widgets with square brackets. And we're actually just going to put one widget inside here. It is going to be our Cupertino sliver navigation bar. And we need one property. Uh, and we are going to make that our large title. So that is going to be what's on the nav bar. And let's just put settings in there. 
And the nested scroll view has a headed sliver builder. It also requires a body. So let's, oh, I think I'm in the wrong one. Want to be above that right there. That's where we want to be. All right, there's our body. And for a body, we're just going to put a center widget with a child. Uh, which is a text widget which says home page. So nothing fancy. All right, we save that. That is our uh, page scaffold. It will have a collapsible widget. We need to go back now to our main.dart file. And I, why don't we just take this green out here? We don't need the comments. And so what we're going to need to do here is we have a material app serving up this uh, widget. It needs to be a Cupertino app. So let's take out the material. And when we do that, we're going to need to hit enter and that will auto import Cupertino up here. That's what's uh, what's missing there. I'm going to take out the theme entirely because we don't want to do any, any theming. And for home, we no longer have this my home page. We have a home page and we'll let that uh, auto import up here, but it's just importing this this widget. And I'm going to go ahead and run that. All right, there we go. So that's the uh, the app that we started with. We've got a large title here. If the user scrolls up, it collapses into the smaller, uh, older style iOS navigate nav bar title. And then if they scroll down, the the reverse happens. So uh, that's that's how you do it. If uh, I've got another video on getting that uh, iOS look and feel, uh, which kind of explores splitting your app. So we've got a Cupertino app here. You could split it based on your platform to create a material app uh, if you if you wish to offer a more of a native Android experience as well. Uh, in your app, but that's how easy it is to do. It is very native looking and feeling you can see on this device right here. So I uh, hope you like that. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.